Troll is one of those rare movies that it just doesn't get as much attention as its sequel. All of these movies, they get more attention than the original because they're better. But Troll 2 is different. It gets more attention because it's just so bad. Troll 2 is so infamously awful that one of the original actors, Michael Stevenson, actually made a documentary about how terrible it is. I was so excited to see this for the first time with my family. I grabbed the tape and I stuck it in the VCR and then I pressed play. I hated this movie. But I'm not here to talk about Troll 2. Trust me, there are more than enough reviews out there to keep you busy for weeks. So if it's Troll 2 you wanted, sorry. No, I'm here today to talk about the first troll. Never mind the Troll 2 part. We're, we're just going to talk about Troll. The original came out in 1986. It's about an evil, magical little troll that terrorizes everyone in an apartment building by turning everyone into trolls. I'm very happy to say that despite the sequel, this is actually a good movie. It's got some excellent costumes and makeup effects. The writing isn't bad either. And it's even got a few actors that you might recognize. This is one of Julia Louis-Dreyfus's very first movie roles. And it's got none other than Sonny Bono, who plays the swinger living upstairs. And children having pillow fights at all hours of the night while I'm trying to score may cause a few strikeouts. You get me, Harry boy? It also stars Noah Hathaway, who you should recognize as a Treyu from The NeverEnding Story. Well, here he plays Harry Potter. Seriously, this kid's name is Harry Potter. Also, one more little tidbit I'll give about the movie before I move on is the guy who directed it is the same guy who directed Friday the 13th Part 7, which I find interesting because it seems like he really enjoyed the fusion of magic and horror. So Troll follows the Potter family after they just moved into an apartment building. Their daughter Wendy is playing downstairs in the basement when she comes across the Troll. Now, the troll doesn't kill her, but it does take over her body and it goes and lives with her family. I gotta say, I love this movie. No introduction to who these people are, what they're doing, why they're moving, where they came from. Just BAM! A troll possesses their daughter. And for the most part, nobody notices. Everybody else just, they go on thinking that she's a regular girl. Everyone except for Harry Potter, that is. What a pig! Yeah, Harry Potter and trolls, they, they go back. Now, before the troll goes on its rampage and trying to convert everybody, we get the privilege of meeting them all first. And this movie really delivers in terms of creating some fun characters. Like I mentioned before, we get that swinger upstairs who's played by Sonny Bono. We also get this ex-military guy who's really into fitness. Hello! How you doing? There's also Miss Sinclair, that mean old lady who lives on the top floor. And there's Malcolm, a professor who, for obvious reasons, the troll mistakes for an elf. Are you an elf? No, uh, I just resemble one. All of these characters, they're so dynamic and fun, and they're all introduced really quickly and early. So right away, the movie hooks you and pulls you in with so many fun and distinct people. Anyway, now that all the characters are out of the way, the troll starts to make its way through the apartment building. It sneaks into people's houses as a little girl, and then attacks them and turns them into trolls. It also turns their entire apartment into a magical forest. Look, just in case any part of the plot is confusing to you, don't worry. Here's a recap from Miss Sinclair. But I think that he's going from apartment to apartment. He's transforming sections of this building into different fairy worlds. And when he has succeeded in transforming them all, a single fairy universe will be formed within this building. Well, it turns out that Miss Sinclair is also a witch who's hunting down the troll. So Harry Potter, who already suspects his sister isn't his sister, teams up with the mean old lady, who's actually a nice witch, to destroy the troll and rescue his sister. Seriously, replace the apartment building with Hogwarts and his sister with Hermione, and we have ourselves a plot to the new Harry Potter book. Anyway, Harry Potter makes his way into the magical forest. He rescues his sister and kills the giant troll guarding the magical realm, thus destroying the magical forest and returning everything and everybody back to normal. 
Hooray for humans. This really is a fun movie. Enough care and attention went into the characters, the story, the costumes, the sets, that it never came across as campy or cheap, even though it was. It even has great music with a real catchy theme song. That is, until all the trolls start singing along. That's just stupid. Bottom line, this is a decent movie that I enjoyed the hell out of when I was a kid. So when I discovered there was a troll too, oh man, I was so excited to watch it. Unfortunately, this was before the internet. So I had no idea what I was getting myself into. They're eating her. And then they're going to eat me. Oh my God. Thanks for watching everyone, my name's Kenny. Remember to click the like button if you haven't already. And until next time, let's not just watch movies, let's talk about them too. Alright, another video in the bag.